there. I hope you have uh, bought all the bottled water. I hope you have gathered all the toilet paper. I hope those rifles are filled with ammunition. Because it is the apocalypse. And it's happening in two days. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today, we are talking about SDCC, the general hotel sale, where all the stress will be crazy at Wednesday or on Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. If you are on the West Coast, welcome in. I know it's just a little bit early for you guys yet, but you're, uh, you guys are doing this at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. We're doing this at noon Central. You guys are at 11 a.m. Um, we have a lot to go through today. Uh, I'm going to go through the entire process of what you need to do now. And there's a couple of things that I did see, and I don't, I'm trying to remember from last year, if it was the same, uh, for some reason, I don't think it was, uh, I could be wrong on that though. You know, it was a year ago, but we're going to go through this whole thing. So welcome on in, grab yourself a frosty beverage, get your questions ready. I'm here to answer everything. As long as I uh, as long as I know the answer to, I will answer it. Uh, what's up, Johnny? How you doing, brother? Appreciate you being here tonight. Um, Johnny, you need to get you need to get the San Diego Comic Con one year, dude. I know you're in Canada, but you, you need to get over there, dude. It's um, I can't I I can't even explain like how it's so much different than your typical local Comic Con. Like it is just. I, I don't even have the words to really explain. Like, it's so funny thinking back to 2016. My very first Comic-Con I ever went to was in San Diego. I'd never been to any local cons. And one year, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just get tickets and go. So that's what we did. And man, oh man, I did not know what I was doing. I feel like we wasted so much time because we just didn't know. And then the next year, we went again. And by 2018, I feel like I really kind of knew what I was doing. And at this point now, I've been every year uh, with the exception of uh, 2020 and 2021 because they didn't have it. Uh, but I've been every year since 2016 beside those two. So, uh, But we're going to break this thing down and show you guys how to get these uh, exclusive downtown hotels. Um, all right. Yeah, and, and do New York like we're just talking like a, a just a step below and the reason why i think new york comic con is a step below because of two main things number one you um you end up spending so much time in line for autographs and unless you get like a vip ticket for new york you that i mean that can sometimes be your whole con uh that and then the other thing is too they don't have the surrounding area of the city you know and it's it's obviously much uh more congested i guess in that area you know just from people living there and they, they just don't have the off sites they don't have uh like just parties and and things to do around that city it, it's basically new york comic-con and, and then you you know you didn't i mean obviously new york has plenty to do but as far as comic-con themed events they, they don't have too much uh so i would say those are the two big differences but new york is a good time too dude it's awesome all right, so today it was announced that, and let me just drop this down here. Yeah, let's see, let's go with this one. All right, so it was announced today, and it's funny because I went back on Twitter. I don't know if I just completely missed it or if I just didn't see it. I don't know. I don't remember them tweeting anything out, but on the website it was up there, and then everyone got an email if you have tickets. And basically, um, it's going to happen this Wednesday. And we're going to walk through exactly what you need to do. So do not click on the early bird. That was up a while ago. That usually comes up at like at the end of the, uh, the previous year. And these are going to be all your hotels that are well outside of downtown. So you can shuttle in. And obviously, you're, you're going to pay much cheaper. It's going to be 50% less uh, from what you're going to be paying downtown. Um, you know, and then the one question I always get is, you know, so why why they stay downtown? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, it's you can walk to the con. So you never have to worry about like wasting time on a shuttle. Now, if you don't mind that part of it, then yeah, I mean go save yourself the money because you're again, you're gonna be paying over three hundred dollars a night 
to stay downtown or outside, you know, five to six miles away, you can probably pay about buck fifty, maybe even less. I know I did it my first year because again, we didn't really know what we were doing. And I still think we ended up paying like about $200 a night, but we also upgraded our hotel to like ocean view and with a balcony. So like, I mean, I, we, it could have been cheaper. Uh, that was just what we decided to do since we uh, had never been to San Diego. Um, so that's kind of what the early bird is. So that's not what we want. So here's what we want. The, uh, the general hotel sale again, right here, it's Wednesday, April 17th. And it's going to be at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Again, that is noon for East uh, East Coast. And that's for Central. That's going to be at 11 a.m. Uh, the hotel list. I actually linked this in the description uh, in the video. So you guys can check that out if you want while I'm talking. But if you click here, it opens up a PDF. And that is uh, all the hotels. And again, it's going to be the exact same thing that you see on the uh, practice form that we're going to do. Uh, if you did not get an email with the link, because in the in the email, they actually give you the link. You need that. So if you have not gotten an email and you have tickets for San Diego Comic-Con this year, you may want to reach out to them uh, ASAP. But, you know, I, and I have heard over the last few years, you know, sometimes it happens, but I feel like they're pretty good about getting people the email. Like, I, I feel like they're pretty good. But for some reason, you don't, you definitely want to reach out to them before Wednesday. All right, so here's kind of the whole process. Uh, it, you know, it opens up at an hour before. So again, uh, I'll, I'll go through all the time zones. So if you're on the uh, West Coast, you're opening up at 8 a.m. That's when you, the link will be active. You just got to get in and you can kind of just leave the computer. Uh, even if like your computer goes to sleep, if you just wake it back up, you're still going to be in there. Now, I, I always get afraid of that. I, I, so I'm always going to make sure my sleep is not on because of, just to make sure. But basically, as long as you click in, you should be good to go. Uh, and that is going to be at 10 a.m. for uh, Central. And then for uh, East Coast, it's going to be 11 a.m. So, again, that is when it first allows you to get in there. It doesn't matter as far as who gets in first. It doesn't matter because all you have to do is be in the waiting room. Think of uh, for anybody out there who collects NFTs through Funko. So, basically, what happens there? is they basically will sort you once everybody's in the room and it's just completely randomized. So it's the same type of situation. Uh, you know, same thing as trying to like go get tickets for the con. As long as you click in and you're in there and you can go ahead and just, uh, you know, walk away and just make sure you're back there by, by 10 or, or well, whatever time it starts for you in your, in your time zone. Uh, what's going on Poppin? How you doing brother? I'm just going to pitch a tent wherever i can there you go brother dude i've slept outside twice and i don't know if i'll do it again <laughs> it's, it's brutal dude it's brutal but you know <laughs> it's an experience too hey johnny i do it man my boy johnny dude I do, my, my man comments in all my videos i love it uh thanks for being here brother all right so um let's go through uh what we're actually doing here so um, the best thing I can offer as far as advice beforehand is look at, again, you can look at the uh, sheet up here. Yeah, I just, you know, just go ahead and click it. So this is, uh, this tells you everything, you know, that's basically what the website says. But if you scroll down through the PDF, you will go ahead and see the entire list of, uh, of the, uh, hotels that are going to be available. Um, so on this, it has everything. So it literally will give you any hotel in San Diego. It, it five miles away, seven miles away, 0.2 miles away. So this is going to have some of those early bird hotels on there. So just be careful with that. And I'm going to show you how to sort that once we get into the actual form. But basically, you know, if we just kind of look at one of these, um, I'm just going to pull up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We do. Oh, I don't know. Let's do the uh, Hilton San Diego Bayfront. Uh, I would say this is probably the number one hotel that people want, maybe beside Hard Rock. And we're going to talk about Hard Rock here in a minute. Uh, but basically, you can see the price. So it's uh, $334 a night. And that is for a king bed. Um, they uh, they have valet. Uh, there is no shuttle because it's literally next to the, the convention center. And this column here is actually uh, for uh, if you're bringing your dog with you, they do not allow dogs. Um, and this, this section here is important to me because we do travel with both of our puppies. 
So that is one uh, one of the one of the down you know one of the bad things about this hotel for me is that uh, it's the location is perfect. You have great views of the ocean, but unfortunately they don't allow dogs, so uh, I I just move on from that. But basically, you want to just go ahead and make sure you know the exact name. So like it says, Hilton San Diego Bayfront, because right below it, we see San Hilton San Diego. And now this one's in Gaslamp. So this one is on the other side of the street. And to see again, you can see this one does allow dogs. Uh, then we have, uh, the, you know, it keeps going down. But basically, you, this is what you want to know. You want to make sure you know the name of the hotels, put them into your phone, make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Or if you pre if you do fill out the practice sheet, which I would highly recommend, uh, what you can do is just take a screenshot and then you have that so you know exactly what you're doing when you get in there. Um, you know, and, and one thing they did say this year, which is like good, is that they said that you, it. So in the past, I'm pretty sure they said that it was going to be. Um, let me go back to this. They said in the past that basically it doesn't matter when you um well it matter no i'm sorry i said that wrong it did it did matter when you submitted the actual form so it's basically a two-step process so you're going to get in okay you get you get in at your uh, let's say for me I'm, i have mine starts at noon i get in between 11 and noon don't make sure you get there before noon because if not you're at the very end of the list and just don't you're pretty much not going to get anything uh, so make sure you get logged in after that once you get selected you're going to see the little bar with a little running man and you're going to basically go in and follow him. And then you're going to hopefully get in quickly. Once you get in, in the past, you had to fill out the form as fast as you could and submit it. And then that was your dated time for when you actually submitted it. So because if you were in there before somebody and somebody else submitted it before them, they would actually trump you. Uh, they said this year, it's when you actually get in to fill out the form. I want to say they give you like 15 minutes, maybe. I, I think that's that's pretty close to what they give you. Plenty of time. But it's nice because now there's not that extra level of stress that you're trying to fill out this form as quick as you can, trying to not make any mistakes because you know you have to submit it fast. So they're saying that basically you can go ahead and get in and then take your time to fill it out because whatever time you actually get to the form is your stamped time. So that is a, I believe that is a change from last year. Um, so it makes things a lot easier. All right. Um, and, and guys, if you have any questions at, at all, just go ahead and fire them in the chat. And um, I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth between the, uh, the chat and the actual site that I'm working on. So just let me know if you have any questions about what we're talking about. All right. So we're going to go into this practice form. So practice form is right here. Um, actually, and right here in blue, you can see it right here. It, that's exactly what I just said. And this is why it's highlighted, because I think I'm pretty sure it's new. Forms will be processed based on the time at which a user was granted access to the form, not the time at which the form was submitted. So that is good, good news. The other thing you want to double check is check your, uh, your, um, your uh, JavaScript. So they have a link there. You can double check it just to make sure you're up, you're up to good you know, on, on that browser. And then before we start the form, one other really nice hint, you can do this in more than one browser. Now you can't do this in several tabs. So for example, I'm using Google Chrome right now. If I open up a Chrome tab and, and, I, and I go ahead and enter the room, I'm good. If I entered another room in the same tab, there's a chance that I'm gonna get kicked out because it's gonna have the same uh, ID address or the same ID at the bottom of the screen when you're actually logged in. But what you can do is on the same device or even on different devices, you can log in with different uh, different browsers. So, for example, I, like I, I will use uh, Chrome. I will use Internet Explorer. I will use Safari, um, even Opera works. And then if you have multiple devices, you can actually do that in multiple devices. So there's a couple of different ways you can get around this. Um, hopefully it'll help you get in faster. You know, I. I, I've done it every year. Um, I've only actually participated in this. Well, not participated. I participated in every year, but I've only actually got this the last three years, and uh, and we we ended up missing the other the previous couple of years. Uh, but again, I also didn't do the browser trick. 
But again, I think more and more people realize you can do that. So it, it kind of, it's, I guess the love, the, the playing field is being leveled out because people know this now, but I would still highly, highly recommend doing that. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and fill out this form. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So this is kind of what it'll come up and it'll, it kind of just tells you some basic information, tells you about, uh, you know, there's a ton of fees like here, you can see right here, uh, service and technology fees, 3%. There's a ten dollars a night charge for whole, for the shuttles. Uh, there's a whole bunch of fees. So the price that we actually see, know it's going to be probably a good ten percent higher. All right. So there's your uh, sample form, and preview night is on the twenty fifth, or I'm sorry, twenty fourth. So if you do have preview night and you're planning in there Wednesday, make sure you know your dates. Um, all right. So here is a really helpful tool. So you can see here it says show. It says all hotels. And then this one says uh, airport, uh, and this is on uh, Coronado Island. Here's downtown only, which is the one we're going to want to use. Mission Valley, which is about five or six miles away. And then here's Shelter Island. Again, that's a little further out. So to make sure you're selecting the right things, again, the, the, really the whole reason why you're doing this is because you want a downtown hotel. You can pretty much go get any of the other hotels right now. Just go, just go to the early bird and you can get them. So I'm going to select downtown hotels, and this is basically giving me everything from 0.2 miles, probably upwards of maybe two miles. I think two miles is about the furthest they consider downtown. Um, so then we have a whole bunch of different um, options. So we have the Andes Hotel. Uh, this is just over a half mile away. You actually can get a shuttle, but you know I've stayed there once, and it is walking distance, so it's not too bad of a walk. Um, and then, you know, if you're driving in or whatever, they do have a uh, valet. Uh, same thing. We have Best Western Plus, Bayside Inn. Um, this is just about over a mile away. So this is a little further out. Same thing with this uh, Cartejo or I guess a Cart Hotel, 1.1 miles away. So again, I, I'm trying to figure out when I do this, I try to find the hotels that I want to be as close as possible that I think are going to be like the absolute most popular. Okay. Um, but I also need dog friendly. So, you know, this one right off the bat is, is, is no good for me. Cause like they, they don't have dogs, uh, the breakfast, you know, it's some do include breakfast. Some don't, that's just another option that you can look at. So, uh, Andos hotel, I, I have stayed there. It is a good location. It is a little further of a walk. Uh, but, it, but if you don't mind walking, you know, half mile, you know, it's, it's not that bad. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes to walk up there. Um, you know, depending upon how fast you want to walk. Uh, let's see. Again, you can see, uh, this, so the courtyard, San Diego gas lamp, this is actually part of the uh, convention center and this is super close. It's 0.3 miles away. Um, so it, that's a really good choice. You know, again, it's probably one of the first ones that go because you're literally right next to the convention center. So you have to make that decision on whether or not you want to grab a hotel that is that close, knowing that everybody else is doing the same thing. Uh, we have Embassy, that's a mile away. Four uh, points is over a mile, almost a mile and a half, actually. Same thing with Hampton. So here's the Hard Rock. So let's talk about the Hard Rock for just a moment. So the Hard Rock is literally right across the street from the convention center. So you're talking, you can probably walk there in less than five minutes. So the problem with the Hard Rock is number one is the most expensive. So you're looking at $409 a night, okay? The other issue with the Hard Rock is I don't know how many actual rooms they have available because I know that a lot of the stars stay there. Um, this is basically their hotel. So I don't know if they're have, they have 100 rooms. I don't know if they have 50 rooms only. They may have less than 50. You know, it, 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 I don't really know. All I know is I've never tried it, number one, because they're not dog friendly. And number two, I just think that it's probably the hardest hotel to get into. And I would rather not waste my selection on that. Um, so, again, it's it's kind of up to you. But, I mean, if you're a person who would love to see celebrities, you know, try it. Throw it as your number one and see what happens. You never know. I mean, we hear every year that people get in there. Um, and I know if you don't have this, if you don't get this hotel, they don't really let you in the hotel. 
Um, I, sometimes you can say, well, I'm going to the restaurant, but then I know sometimes they ask you for a reservation name. If your name's not on there, they're not going to let you in. So there's, you know, I don't know. That's kind of like a luck of the draw. Just go for it. Worst case they say is no and you leave. Uh, but there is an area outside of the hotel that people do stand a lot during the day and they do, they, you will see celebrities walk, coming in and coming out. So if you just want to see someone, quick photo op or something like that, you can do that. I don't know if they come by and like do autographs or something like that. Um, I've never really spent my time waiting, but that this is uh, that that's what the Hard Rock is all about. Uh, I'm going to keep going down here. Here's the um, Hilton San Diego Bayfront. So again, this is the on the other side. That's we kind of talked about this. This is on the other side of the convention center, which is the you know probably the second closest hotel, and you're literally you know it's at 0.3 miles away. I mean you're you're right there. And actually, that, that hotel is really nice because if you are getting a line from like Hall H um, or the Everything line, you can um, you're you're definitely the closest to the line on, on that side of the uh, on that side of the uh, convention center because you're close. So so yeah, the the Hilton is closer to like where Hall H would be. And what was the other hotel? Was it the uh, uh, the this one right here, the uh, courtyard? You're on the other side, so you're closer to Hall A. So. You know, for me, I, I, I think, you know, doing this such a long time, I would think that most people are going for Hard Rock and Hilton uh, San Diego Bayfront. I think those are the first two most people will probably put in. Um, again, if you don't mind paying the price, uh, because they are probably two of the closest hotels. Uh, as we move on through these, uh, again, here's the Hilton San Diego gas lamp. Uh, it says 0.2 miles. I don't, I don't really know if it's that. I don't think it's closer. I mean, it's right across the street as well. But I, I wouldn't say it's closer. But, I mean, maybe technically it's closer. But, again, you have to walk all the way down to Hall H, what you cross. So, I mean, maybe technically to the actual convention center it's closer. But not really where you want to be when you get in line in the morning. Uh, Hotel Indigo, I've stayed there once. Again, you're looking at just over a half mile away. Um, again, this is a little pricier one at 342, but it is a it is a it's a nice hotel. Uh, hotel Republic that is further away. Same thing. This one's almost two miles away, uh, and then we have a couple Kimpton. So this first one is uh, is called Kimpton Alma, and it previously was called Palomar. And again, you're talking just over a half a mile, so it's just probably like a good 15 to 20 minute walk. And um, it's a nice hotel, though. It's just a little further away. Um, so I would I want to tell you this one here. This is about the furthest that we will go. And the biggest reason for us is because we do have the dogs, and because we do leave the convention center several times a day to go let them out. It's it's a long walk. So this, but so this is about the furthest away that we would uh, we would go without having to take a shuttle. Um, but again, very nice hotel. Uh, Manchester Grand Hyatt. So we stayed here last year. It was awesome. The, you know, it's it says 0. 0.5, and it definitely is. It's um, it's cool because you have um, access to the back of the convention center. So in the back of it last year, it's like they had the pirate ship for uh, uh, what was it? Um, one of those beer companies. I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of it. But they had a, a big pirate ship you can go on. That was pretty cool. And they, they they do have different things back there. It is it is a it's a it's a long walk. It's it was a lot further than I had thought. The one bad thing about Manchester is usually we would hang around the gas lamp a lot. Being in that hotel after walking all the way back from the convention, you know, carrying everything. Sometimes at night we would find ourselves not wanting to walk all the way back because you're probably about 0.7 or 0.8 miles away from the gas lamp. So unless you wanted to jump in an Uber or something like that, it's it's a lot of walking back and forth for that hotel. Um, again, but the hotel is absolutely beautiful and it's definitely worth putting on your list. Uh, last year, I think that was our number one that we ended up getting. Uh, this year, we'll definitely be putting it on there, but it won't be our number one this year just because of the fact that we want to we want to stay in the gas line if we can. Margaritaville Hotel that was uh, formerly the uh, Salomar San Diego, uh, really good location. You're lo literally like three streets away, and you're there. So this is a really really good location. Um, again, you know the closer you are, the more you're going to pay. 
And I'm going to go through just a couple more because um, I mean, if I went through all these, we'd be here all night. Uh, Omni, uh, again, great location. It's directly across from Hard Rock. It's funny. It says 0.2, and then Hard Rock says 0.1. This hotel is actually closer. So this is a little off. But uh, Omni is right there. It is a little older of a hotel. They haven't really updated anything. Um, now, I haven't stayed there in about five years, but it's it's definitely a little bit of an older hotel. But again, if you don't care about that and you just want someplace to be close, there you go, Omni. Um, and then uh, let's see, uh, we have Springfield Suites again. That's far away, but they. I'll tell you one thing about this one is they are definitely further away, and they're not by Gas Lamp, but they have an amazing rooftop restaurant and bar. It's pretty cool. We actually went there last year. Um, all right, so you know, and the rest of these you guys can kind of look at. Uh, you know, there's a Westin Bayfront, or I'm sorry, a Westin Bay, uh, Bayview, again, further away. Uh, the Westin in the gas lamp, again, you're looking at just over a half mile. So there's a bunch of different choices. And then there is your technology and service fee. So it is what it is. They just started doing that last year. All right. Let me, I'm going to go back to the chat just for a moment to make sure there's any questions. Um, I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Let's see. Uh, Clint. I really like the Omni, a little bit of a direct path. Yeah, de oh, definitely, man. Like, I, so I liked the Omni. My, my wife wasn't a big fan of it because it was just a little more, it was a smaller room. And uh, again, with having dogs, she likes to get something a little bit bigger. But Omni is always one of our top three because you cannot beat the location. Um, yeah, and I agree. And actually, and actually, in Omni, too, they have a UPS store right inside of that hotel where you can literally just go in some packages. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I thought this was a Fortnite stream. Dude, I can't, dude, did you see that trailer for uh, Star Wars Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be streaming that day. I'll tell you that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling this form out. So basically, you just enter all your information. You know, if you have it saved on your computer, that's going to speed it up. But again, you're not really in, in, in like some huge press for time. And I want to see, I don't know if they tell you how many minutes you actually get. I want to say it's going to be 15. Um, let me just double check it. If they don't tell you. I would imagine it'll be at least 15 minutes, though. So you don't have to, like, really stress too much. But, again, you fill this in, pre, you know, pre-filled pre in for you. Go ahead. Uh, member ID, that is your uh, San Diego Comic-Con member ID. Uh, I don't think it's actually necessary, but I always put it in there. Yeah, if you need accommodations, you can see, um, you, you can read this and you can basically just, you know, follow the form. It just requires, it's, it's still, you're still doing just one form. You're not doing a separate one. Uh, you want to select how many rooms you want to get. So if you're going with like four people, you guys can all put like two rooms and that way that like doubles everyone's chances instead of doing singles. Um, and then after that, basically you're going to select your room type and preferences. All right. So. I'm going to basically just do, um, off the top of my head, the ones I usually go for. Uh, so you can see here, now, you don't have the option to select like we did up here. So here we put downtown. All of the hotels are listed. This is why it's really, really important to make sure you know the exact name of your hotel. All right, so I'm going to go here. Let's see. I want to know, are you guys, do you guys see the drop down list? I think last year, I think this was like, I don't think you guys are able to see it. And I don't want to like waste time talking about it if you can't see it. Because I think for some reason, I think you guys can't see this. So if somebody in the chat could just let me know, like, can you actually see the drop down menu of all the hotel choices in gray? Which I, again, I don't, I don't think you can. I'll leave it up there for just a minute. Stop, duck. Um, yeah, I, okay. So, yeah, I, I don't, it's so weird that um, StreamYard doesn't pick it up. Um, but when you so basically, you know what I'll do? Maybe I'll, well, basically, you're just clicking it. And it shows all the hotels. I and mean, that's basically what it is. So, here, let me pick my first one. Um, so, let me go ahead and I'll just pick Omni since I know that's going to be on my list. Again, this isn't necessarily my, or, my order, but these would be the hotels I'd be picking. So then you can now see, uh, if you look at the top in the gray bar there, it says Omni, and then I did King Bed. Um, 
And you can also do it again if you want. Like, let's say you're going with a friend. Well, you're probably not going to king bed if you want with a friend. But if you don't care, if you're going with a significant other or whatever, and you don't care, you just want to stay at the Omni, you can actually make that two different selections. There's one king bed, and you can also do the two double beds. So just remember that because sometimes it's, it's, it's an option. You know, even if you're just going by yourself, you can always just do both of those. All right, so the next one I'm just going to throw in here. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for Grand Chester, man. Uh, so they have the same option there. Okay. So we have, now let's say I made a mistake and I'm like, oh, I wanted Grand Hyatt first. All you have to do is drag it up and you can switch it. So don't just start removing. You can, you're able to sort it this way, which is cool. All right, next one we're gonna do. Um, let's see. We will do. I'll do the. I'm gonna do the margarita one. We stayed there uh, a long time ago, and um, it was a nice hotel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one. Yeah, let's see, Margaritaville, two double beds. Two, oh, it actually have two queen beds there too. So there we go. So you can see there. I'm now. I'm starting to build my list. Now the other thing is too. You're allowed twelve. You can have twelve different hotels listed. All right, let's see. Next one we'll do, let's do the Hilton. Um, that's the Gaslamp Quarter one because I have to have it because of the, the dogs. And next on the list, let's see. What else do I have? Let's do, I'll, do, I'll probably do the Kempton. That'll be one of my last choices. But again, I could sort it at the end. So maybe what I would recommend is just go through, find the hotels that you know 100% that you're probably going to want to stay at and just kind of go through and just click them all and no you do not need to fill it all out you you really could just you could do one if you want you you do not have to do all of them and let's see weston is always a good backup so i'm going to do weston and the gas lamp they have a resident in one too it's a little further away but it's so weird they only offer a queen no no uh no king size bed uh, let's see. Springfield, there's residence in Omni Grand. I'm trying to think what else I actually will be putting in. Hotel, oh, Hotel Indigo. That's a good one. So, so Hotel Indigo. I know, again, I know you guys can't see this, but there's actually four choices. There's one for a king. There's one for two queens. Then they give you a little discount rate if you go for four or more nights. So, what you can do here is you can do Hotel Indigo for that one, and then. Let's go ahead and do Hotel Indigo again, and I'm just going to do it's it's like a ten dollars or twenty ten or twenty dollars night savings. So it, I think it's worth putting in both, and then that way there you go. So now you have both. So right now I have nine out of twelve, and uh, so I got three more choices I can do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in. I'm trying to think what else I'd actually would put in. I think I think I have eight on my list right now. I think I already put them all in. But just for the sake of the video and this live, I'll just go ahead and throw a couple more in there. Uh, let's just throw in, yeah, you know, we'll throw in Hard Rock just to have fun with it. And so Hard Rock, they have a one king Hard Rock suite. They have a two queen Hard Rock suite. And then they also have a king studio and a queen studio. So again, there's different choices there for Hard Rock. So you could do both if you wanted. Boom, there you go. And I have one choice left. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, this one right here. All right. So it tells you I got 12 out of 12. Now we can sort in order. So let's say I wanted to uh, move something around. So then maybe let's say I take this one. I move it to where Omni was. Um, so I put that on top. Then I want Omni. Uh, maybe I want Margarita next. And then uh, Grand Chai. So you, you get the idea. I, you can move them however you want to move them. You know, say I want to move that up or whatever. So that's basically what it is. Then after that, they're going to ask you the next question. It says, if none of my preferred hotel choices are available, you have four things you can pick. The first one says, book me any downtown hotel. Um, it's only downtown. So for example, let's say you pick 12 choices in there. And you are like, okay, well, if I don't get it, I have to be downtown. So you would click this. You could always not pay for it. 
because if you don't pay for it, it just gets canceled in like 48 hours. So basically it, it, it's kind of worth just picking it. And if you get something, you get something. And if you don't, it's, you know, you, you don't have to take it. Second choice says book me at any hotel that's on the shuttle route, regardless of rate or location. So basically, they're probably going to give you the next closest hotel that use a shuttle. So, you know, usually those hotels are going to be between 0 0.6, 0 0.7 miles, all the way upwards of like seven miles away. Next one says book me at a hotel with the lowest available rate, regardless of location and shuttle availability. OK, so this one is basically you're just trying to get a hotel, the cheapest one you can. It doesn't matter if it has a shuttle. So you just want to stay there. And then this one says, if none of my preferred hotel choices, then disregard my form. So basically, if I can't get one of these, then don't book me for anything. Like I said, it, it, no harm, no foul for this. You, you know, so I, you might as well click it. But again, if you don't want to even mess with that, and if you don't get one of these, you don't want to stay downtown, then you just click this one. Um, unless you were looking for shuttles. But Again, you can even get these after the fact. Instead of them telling, you know, instead of them saying, "Oh, you can go stay here," you, you could probably go still get one. Um, email me when the general sale goes live. Um, so I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure why that would be on this. To be honest with you, email me when the general sale goes live. That doesn't make sense because you're doing the general sale. So I'm not really sure why it's even on there. That may not even be on there. Um, I, I don't know why that's there. ADA room request. So if you have any room requests right here, it says, if you require an ADA room, please notify on peak after you receive the hotel reservation. So you're just booking it. You book the room, then you will contact them and then they will make sure you have what you need. And then you need to just basically click all six of these. And this is basically telling you, here's the service and technology fee. You need to uh, make a deposit of at least two, two nights of the room rate plus tax. Uh, this one here tells you that there is a uh, another fee here, another technology fee. I don't know. I feel like that's almost the same thing, but I don't know. Uh, I understand the number of beds in a room cannot be guaranteed. Um, ADA requests and submitting one for all my rooms. Yes, yes, yes. And then basically um, there would be a submit button and you're going to go ahead and submit it. So there you go. Um, it, it, there is a lot there, right? And, but really, um, they get, yeah, I think, Duck, I think they will give you like 15 minutes. Uh, but again, like I, I had mentioned earlier in the live, I said they changed it this year. You do not have to rush through it uh, because, where was that at? Was that at, back on the earth sheet, I think? So it says right here, forms when, Forms will not, I'm sorry, forms will be processed based on the time at which a user was granted access to the form. So that is a huge change, uh, not the time at which the form was actually submitted. So you don't have to rush and worry about making a huge mistake. You can't see the credit card numbers. <laughs> That's cute, brother. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have another question. Um, are the queue links in the registration email unique? No, you can, because they will actually send that out on Twitter as well. It's so strange that they even give them to you on the email. I think they just want to make sure everyone has it. You know, like if you're not on Twitter or something, then you still have access. Um, but no, you can, you can, you can copy paste it into different browsers and you'll be fine. Um, unless something changes uh, for just this one, uh, it's it oh, it always works because it's the same way when you get tickets. You can do the same thing when you get tickets. You can open up multiple browsers. Um, I don't know. I think I mean that's basically it. Um, again, if you want to see the hotel list, I did link the PDF in the description of the video, um, or you can always just head over to San Diego Comic Con uh, dot. I think it's I don't know the dot org or dot com, but. Uh, so it's comic-con.org. Uh, but again, if you just do a web search for, for SDCC website, you'll, you'll find it right away. Um, all right. Any other questions for the good of the order? I don't want to leave without anyone's questions being answered. Um, let me, I'm going to check real quick too. I want to see if how many people watching are actually going to the con. So if you haven't responded to the poll, 
uh, do that now. And I'm, I'm curious to see. Um, so it looks like more than half. That's cool. Um, or about half, 43%. So um, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about doing something um, maybe on Wednesday. Um, I don't have preview night tickets this year, unfortunately. That, that was a whole mess up. Um, we, 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 we had them in our cart on both of the sales and we ended up not getting them on both of the sales. It was kind of a mess. Um, but I'm thinking about maybe doing some type of meetup, maybe on Wednesday, um, maybe even Thursday. We'll see. I know there's so much going on, so I definitely don't want to uh, take, take place to something like that. Um, I know like uh, for us ourselves, we actually bought tickets to for Saturday night. We bought tickets to go see uh, Chris Hardwick. Um, he's, he's performing um, a comedy act and, uh, we saw him our very, very first time, actually. And um, but this one's going to be in a smaller location, so it's going to be. I think it'll be more a little more in, uh, uh, intimate. So I think it'll. I think it'll be good. And um, the tickets were really, really reasonable too. I think they're only like thirty bucks. Like you can't beat that to see. Uh, you know, he's a really good stand-up comedian. And if you don't know who Chris Hardwick is, he's the one who he's uh, he's on the well, the wall. He's he he that game show the wall, and then he also does the after shows. Um, for uh, the Walking Dead, uh, all that stuff. So he's a uh, he's a funny guy, though. So I might actually pick up his Funko Pop before I go, and maybe I can grab an autograph from, from him or something. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. But um, but yeah. So uh, I think I mean that's pretty much all I got. Unless anybody has any other questions that I can answer. Hey, Christina, how are you? Um. Again, I, I they you know, follow me over on Instagram, follow me on you know, Twitter, one or the other, both, whatever you guys want to do, and I'll definitely be posting some stuff. And I um I'm working on I, I gotta see if I can get it. Um, I I'm working on getting. I'm trying to see if I can make an uh, an official, not not an official obviously, but I'm trying to see if I can get an exclusive pin just for San Diego Comic Con this year. Um, I'm thinking about making like 25 of them, so make it like a like a limited amount. And then first dibs would go to anybody who goes to San Diego Comic Con, and uh, we end up connecting either at a uh, you know at a local bar, hanging out, having a drink or two, or even just meeting up at the con somewhere. Um, and they they would they would be free. I would just be handing them out. So uh, that's something I'm thinking about doing. So I'm gonna be putting out probably a poll on Twitter and on the uh, community page just to kind of see how many people uh, that are subscribed to the channel are going. And that's just something that I would like to um, to do for the community. Um, also, don't forget, guys, I have channel memberships. Uh, $2.99 a month. And you actually would get the uh, my Headless Not Stark pin after two months. And Johnny, I know um, I'll be sending this to you soon here, friend. I know I'm going to grab your address. And um, Big Easy won the um, our uh, April giveaway last night. So he's getting sent a six-pack of uh, it's a mystery box of Funko Sodas. Uh, thank you to Anthony Blaze for uh, for basically supporting that because he's the one who's giving them away. Um, so he reached out to me and said he wanted to do that. Um, so I appreciate that, Anthony. So Big Easy, you should be getting that probably here in the next five to seven days, I would imagine. And then I'll also be sending Big Easy his pin because um, I know he is now uh, on the two-month tier. So if you guys are interested in, in supporting me, uh, check out the channel memberships. I'll put the link in the description after the live is over. And um, also one other thing, next Sunday, I'll be doing one more giveaway. Um, I was able to meet um, Adam MacArthur, who voices uh, Yuri Itadori, this guy right here. So I'm going to be giving this away. All you have to do to enter that is just go watch the video, watch my, our interview. It's about 12 minutes long. Really, really fun guy. If you didn't know, he was actually in the Clone Wars, and that's when I found out. And that's why I wanted to interview him. And we had a really nice conversation about that. And all you got to do is uh, watch the video and make a comment and, and hit the like button on that video. And then next Sunday in my uh, regular live time at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be uh, picking a winner for that uh, Funko Pop. And I'll just send it out to you. So, um, all right, guys. If there's no other questions, again, I really, really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out tonight. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions that come up, again, you can just hit me up on Instagram. You can leave a comment on this video. And I'm pretty good about responding pretty quickly to those. And as I know, it can be stressful, especially if this is your first time doing this. Um, it'll be all right. Trust me. It's, it's, it is stressful. But hopefully you'll get what you want. 
again, I would put all 12 hotels in. There's no, there's no reason not to, unless you really, really only want to be so far from the convention center. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like on the way out of here. Don't forget to keep those heads on and I'll see you guys in the next video.